Wingapo princesses and welcome back to Forever Disney Princess. Today we are going back to the roots and we are going to um to do a new episode of Disney Princess Parts Evolution. We did six princesses from Cinderella from Snow White <laughs> to Jasmine. And on today's video, it's all about Pocahontas. So let's get started, y'all. I'm so excited. This is going to be um, exciting for today's video. So I'm ready for some screen recording. And <laughs> we have to get started. So let's go. All right, princesses. All right, it's been a minute. Now, since Pocahontas is actually, you know, the seventh princess of the bunch, it's pretty much, I mean, they did a lot of products, of course, in honor of the movie, um, especially the dolls. They did so many dolls. Um, but, um, it's quite rare if you find Pocahontas at the parks, so <laughs> these are the lowest one that I have. <laughs> so I pretty much try my best to search it. So I um, mean, lots of them are duplicates, but because you know Pocahontas is such a, because all of the Disney princesses are really beautiful in a different way of gowns. Pocahontas is not, of course. Too bad it doesn't have um, her gown, the white gown one, which is sad. So let's start with this first Pocahontas, and as you can tell, there's a lot of hair. Her hair is really, really long. I mean, because you know, it's obviously it's Pocahontas. She rocked um, the beautiful, long, flowing black hair, um, and the skin tone is really, really amazing. Of course, apparently you make skin. Um, um, it needs a. Um, because you know Pocahontas is a Native American, and she rocking in this really nice, lighter—I I don't know if it's lighter, like a deeper tan skin—and it's really beautiful. Of course, I love her dress. Of course, um, it's a lot of um, a lot of fringes. Of course, because you know it's Pocahontas, uh, and even her tribe um, and her own her own people had a lot of like different um different type of uh of fringes so it's really amazing she also had a necklace that her mother gave it to her which is the obvious because <laughs> and pocahontas doesn't wear shoes because hey it's pocahontas she doesn't wear shoes except for the sequel but it's really really pretty they um aside you can meet her at the parks they also did it on on like stage play so here's the example. This is from the Spirit of Pocahontas, I believe 1995, I believe, um, up until the year 2000. I can't remember, you know, um, how long that been, but I don't think they made it anymore. So they're using the same costume. Wait, I'm not going to show you that. They're using the same costume as this one. So that's pretty much good. And then this one is another Pocahontas place. This is like um, a little remind of a little the same of the Spirit of Pocahontas. I believe 2011, I believe. I can't remember now, but I need to go back watching it on YouTube for the <laughs> Pocahontas show on Dis on Disney Parks. It's barely the same outfit. Um, I love the details though. It's really really beautiful uh, Pocahontas dress and then um, They also um, wear on Merida's coronation Really stunning Pocahontas 
Um, we're gonna skip forward for today just a little bit later on. <laughs> Um, and I think that's pretty much everything though. So it's just a bit of a quick video though because They've been shortage of Pocahontas and even did that to Milan as well um, Which I wish they did something a bit different of course do more of a fringes but different of course So that's why so here's the next Pocahontas I don't know what specifically a parade this is I believe it's a I believe Festival of Fantasy? Or maybe the Sensational Parade, the Mickey Sensational Parade, I don't know. Um, it is the, it's kind of the same dress, just added the, the, the details on her skirt. Oops. And even a belt. Sorry, um, I need to drink some water. Um, the necklace is pretty much detailed. Um, Apparently, they had um, some sort of a, a lot of, um, you know, the, what in the world they call this? Um, it's something with sleeve. Um, it's, it's like sleeves, of course. Um, and they used it for, like, so many tattoos all over, like, leaves and everywhere. And I like something a bit different for Pocahontas' hair because her hair has been braided, which makes sense in the movie because Miko the raccoon braided Pocahontas' hair. Which is really awesome. So I really love to see Pocahontas in braids. Um, although she doesn't like to be in braids for some reason. I don't know why. But it's such a really beautiful Pocahontas. And I love the boots. The boots are really pretty. I think the reason why she wears boots is because I think getting deal might be cold. <laughs> so that's why she's wearing boots and even the, the sleeves. But it's a really beautiful Pocahontas, of course. I love her in the braids. It's so pretty. Now, onward to the winter Pocahontas. So here's the first one. Ignore the pixelation. <laughs> but here's the first one. I think this might be like the inspiration of of Pocahontas' winter look from the, from the sequel, Pocahontas Journey to... Journey to the New World. <laughs> um... Pocahontas wearing a beautiful winter dress. Um, although it doesn't have the pants, though. I know in the movie she wears pants because it's cold. It's cold in some sort of a snow. So I don't know why they didn't give her shorts. They just gave it the dress, though. They covered up the her her dress on this um, fringe coat, like a fringe trench coat. But she's pretty. She's really pretty. And of course she wears boots because, like I said, it's cold. It's in this, in this win really beautiful winter day. Um, and then... But, you know, it's really, really pretty Pocahontas. I really like this one. It's really wintry. It doesn't have quite a fur. I know they had a doll of Pocahontas called Winter Moon by Mattel, which is, um, which is really cool. So, I really like this. I really like this one. Here's another Pocahontas. This time she's in a dress. I like this. <laughs> I think this is another winter version, I believe. Maybe. Um, but I do love a lot of fringe. I love the boots. I love the colors, too. Really beautiful. Um, all, oh, by the way, all of these are like brown and then barely a uh, beige color of Pocahontas' uh, clothes. This is really pretty. This one's all like beige. Yeah, these are all like beige. The only brown details I have what I've seen was this really brown thing over there in her um sort of some sort of a belt <laughs> and the brown boots. <laughs> but really beautiful. I love Pocahontas to wear something a bit different. So really nice. And then here fast forward to today. So like I said, this is just a quick video though. Um here's to today's Pocahontas, and as you can tell. It's pretty much, um, uh, they pretty much detailed in her hair because, um, they want something, Disney, Disney Park wants something extra on Pocahontas, so that's why she had, like, this feather thing in her head. So it's really beautiful, really beautiful, and of course, um, the tattoos, I forgot to mention the tattoos. Now, in this one, they only use, like, the, some sort of accessory as a tattoo. That while this one is just the tattoo itself, it doesn't go all the way there. But now, here is to today's Pocahontas. 
They added details in her tattoo. Stunning, literally stunning. And <laughs> for some reason she wears shoes because I believe it might be dirty if you barefoot <laughs> while meeting in the parks. But you know, it's such a it's such a pretty Pocahontas. I love the details all over. I love the mixture of brown and beige. And she has a satchel. That's really cute. So yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. It's just a really short video of Pocahontas at the parks. Because for some reason, after they did you know, such a huge success, and Pocahontas is such a rare to find if you meet her. Um, or sometimes you wanted to see her in Fantasy Fair or maybe the, the Royal Court. Then you'll definitely get to meet her, of course. I believe you can find her, I believe, Animal Kingdom? Yeah, I believe you can find her in Animal Kingdom, but they also had um, in Disneyland Paris of their of her village so that's really awesome so i believe that's everything here to see pocahontas at the parks so that is it for today's um quick video i know it's such a quick because like i said pocahontas is such a it's only short for all of the costume that she wears so that's why i made a short video for that one but um the pocahontas i show you in the intro i will be showing that on part two for Disney Princess Hall, where I am gonna be do part two for dolls. Yep, I'm gonna be do part two for the dolls and other kind of stuff. For now, thank you so much, princesses, for joining me for this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the you can see right there next to Aurora the bell notification. Um, don't forget to follow me on TikTok at Forever Disney Princess TV. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my first channel, Pink Tastic Barbie Collector, and I'll see you, princesses, in my in my next video. Parallel day, princesses. Bye. <laughs>